Hi, I'm Stuck, and uh, this is Bounty Thursdays. And this episode is sponsored by no other than an amazing team over at Pentester's Lab. If you want to learn how to do some cool web app pen testing, check out their site, pentesterslab.com. I'm just loving that more and more people are getting into the content creation space. And every time I see somebody just puts out a new tweet or a new video over at YouTube where they spend a lot of time just creating content, my heart just jumps a little bit of extra out of joy because Hey, I love video content and I know you do too. So learning in that way is a really, really cool way. So when Shub started to create content over at the Acid Note channel, yeah, his first publications were a brute force attack bypassing rate limits with fire procs. And the second video just came out this week where he's looking for hidden files and folders inside IASM.net. I'm like, ooh, nice, perfect. That's so good because that kind of content usually you only find in written formats and being able to find it on the world's second biggest search engine, this place, YouTube, is just simply amazing. And I don't know if you noticed, but this is in 4K now, 4K. So you can just push the cog and change it to 4K on the Thursdays in 4K. Inside the PhD also had a really cool interview with Alex Chapman the other day. He's a full-time bug hunter and also a member of the syndicate. Absolutely, if you're interested to hear about the life of a normal kind of person that lives the bounty life and works for himself, that's a really, really good listen. I definitely recommend it. And she also dropped the second part of her mobile app series. Uh, the first one was based around iOS, but this second one is about how to get started with Android. I really enjoyed it. So since I'm not a mobile hacker person, it's always great to at least get the basics, how to get up and running. And she covers that perfectly. And if you are a beginner and you want to get started into bounties and all that, maybe you're in your first part of the path, uh, Hack Luke did a talk over at Bug Crowds Level Up where he talks about how to crush bug bounties in your first 12 months. And it's all about the mindset on, on how to approach things. And uh, that's a really, really good video for you that you might want to see. When it comes to disclosing reports, we, we all seen activity over at Hacker One, but there's a new channel called Bug Bounty Reports Explained that I really, really enjoy. The author just dives in uh, and just covers different kind of write-ups and explains them for you. And he's currently on 11 videos out. And the latest one is the epic secondary context path traversal bugs on Starbucks that ZLC and Rhino Raider published uh, a couple of months ago. So that's a really cool uh, video for you to check out if you haven't done it. And we, when we're speaking about videos and uh, we just have to talk about OG Jaworski, right? He's the creator of the Web Hacking 101 book, and he has over 25 different episodes with guests like Tom Nom Nom, Doggy G, Haddix, Johnny Nipper, Kevin Rowe, PHWD, and many, many, many awesome hackers. And uh, just like the things that Nahamsek has been doing for, for the last six months or so, he, 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 he did that in 2019, I guess. And, and, and so it's a really interesting find to just go through all those videos. And you can also connect a little bit with, it, with some of the pillars of the community. I, I really enjoy going back to those every now and then. So mind mapping has been a big thing lately. A lot of more more pen testers and bug hunters are using it to just remember things and just map out their surface, how to think and other stuff. I, I had Xbox really early with this and Rohit made a video on mind mapping for bug bounties and pen testing. So if you want to have a video version where he explains his thought patterns, definitely check that out. But just a couple of days ago, IT security, IT security Guard, or Patrick, dropped his version of a massive mind map that explains his whole workflow on how he's doing bounties. And you can download it over at blog.it-securityguard.com. 
I'm definitely going to do that and, uh, and implement some of his stuff into my workflow and steal and borrow a little bit there. See it as a great inspiration. I know I did. Uh, another great resource for inspiration has to be John Batari's uh, mega release of the over almost 30 bugs that he found on New Relic. Uh, he published, um, he disclosed all those and there's so much, so much cool stuff in there. Um, so I definitely head over to HackerOne and look up either John or New Relic to see all those really cool um, disclosures that he did over there. I've, I've been trying to learn more and more about JavaScript lately and a really cool video that Root Harsh and I'm Noob put out um, called JavaScript Prototype Pollution <laughs> over at their YouTube channel. Um, it, their YouTube channel is called HTTP Void. And so I would definitely recommend you to check that out. They only dropped one video so far, but I'm hoping that it's going to be more content coming out there. And like I said, it's, it's so awesome that more and more content creators are putting the effort in to uh, release all this awesome stuff. There are even rumors that Kodingo is going to start a channel and drop some of the really amazing stuff that he's been working on. He's a great, great, great educator. And if that happens, it will be a little bit of a mind blow adventure. I have no idea if he has a YouTube channel yet, but in a couple of days or a month or so or a week, I don't know, just check out Kodingo, give him a follow and see if he drops stuff. I know I'm going to cover it if that happens. Uh, last and lately, Hacker One's biggest live hacking event ever, uh, the H1 uh, 2010 Open that they're having with Paranoids, got postponed a week, uh, primarily because there was so much interest that they needed a bigger scope. And the Paranoids just pulled through. They created an even bigger scope and it's kicking off on the 22nd instead. So if you were ready to use launch on the 10th, I'm sorry, bro, but... It, the 22nd is the date where you should be ready to launch. So if, if you want to get down to hack, sign up for that. And since we're talking about content creators, congratulations to Farah for joining the Bug Crowd team. That's about everything we have for this week. And uh, I'll see if I can figure this 4K rendering editing thing better until the next time. So until next time, I see you around. Stay curious.